Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cartier. You and Cartier well uh today. We got another reaction video, bro. I appreciate y'all tapping in, man. For real. I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe, bro. For real. We running them numbers up though. Uh man, you know we got Moha shit on the way. Turn on those post notifications too. You know what I'm saying? We need those subscribers up for real, for real. Today we got TK Kirkland on Cat Williams turning down 50 M's in exchange for gay acts. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? Hey, somebody got to stand on principles. So let's tap in. Comments he made in that interview that you felt like he was lying about. <laughs> well, I don't think in Hollywood you get um, um, sexually... Um, taken advantage of as a black man mm. to get a part. I don't, there's nobody in the history. That's Cap. Cap, what y'all think? I think that's Cap. Of entertainment, not even Eddie Murphy, that got offered 50 million four times and turned it down. Mm. It ain't happening. The, most of the time when I see a comic or actor say that Hollywood, uh, you have to do certain things to make it in Hollywood, are people who can't make it in Hollywood. Can't. Mm, I ain't gonna lie, TK Kirkland, are you one of them agents? Are you a Hollywood agent? You know what I'm saying? Are you on their side? Are you a, a Hollywood agent, bro? Cause you, this, I don't know. This right now sounds cap, you know what I'm saying? Why are you taking up for them like that, bro? Multiple people have came out, you know what I'm saying, like that. Did you, you know what I'm saying, maybe you the dude who had to do something strange for some change, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, because, shit, everybody ain't just saying it for no reason. So you come up with these, these claims that you have to do sexual favors to make it. But mm. in actuality, to really make it in Hollywood was like hitting the lottery. Mm-hmm. The odds are against you because it's a playing field that most blacks would not excel in. If I told you right now to do a research paper on the the achievement of black actors and black actresses in Hollywood, mm. you will come back with a most disappointing research paper. Mm. Because even when you win an Oscar, it doesn't guarantee you money. Even when you've done certain things, it doesn't guarantee you money. So you have to be a hustler in anything, right? You're a hustler. That's you used to fact. work at Walmart. You found the way to make money, and now you're successful. Let's talk about Taraji Henderson. Let's talk about Terrence <laughs> Howard. People in that field who we thought was sitting on 20, mm. 30 million maybe. Thought. That's a fact, but it's Taraji P. Henson, not Henderson. But we did think they were sitting on loads of cash. I ain't going to cap. When you think of Halle Berry, you're like, oh, you know she living in some big mansion somewhere. But here's people that took Hollywood and got played. Mm. And years ago, people always say, TK, you should do TV and do a film. But at a, at a young age, I knew that wasn't for me. Mm. I don't even know the business that well. I just knew that I couldn't put my life in the hands of someone telling me you're good for the part or you're not good for the part. or thousands of people going up for the same part. Do you understand? TK that don't Kirkland's, make sense. I, I'm not doing that. Hey, he sound cap right now. I don't believe that. Like you, man, you would, if you got offered that, you would have took them roles. I'm not talking about the gay part, but you might be an undercover agent for all we know. You know what I'm saying? Cause you just be popping up everywhere and we don't know you. You know, maybe not my era though. Y'all let me know about TK Kirkland. What's real is what, when you have that money in your hand and you can feel it, right? You, you feel mm. that money in your hand, that's real. And people get caught up in the illusion of Hollywood. People really get caught up in this. And in, in if you get on one TV show and you don't work no more, there are people who won't work no more because they were seen on television mm. and they got to play this reputation that they're successful, but they are detrimental to their career detrimental to their children, detrimental to their girlfriend, because they keep, oh, the big one is coming, the big one is coming. Mm. But we don't have those opportunities. Imagine if there was 20 
African American movies coming out every year. The mm. black community balling, but what? We get one black film maybe every two or three years. Now that's a fact. That's a good okay, point. Okay, let's take the Black Panther. Even though, oh, our guy was the lead star. I bet Google how much he made for Black Panther. And then Google how much Black Panther made. <clears throat> See, African Americans think with their heart, not with their mind. See, we, <clears throat> we love fairy tales. So we <laughs> rushed to go see the Black Panther because of our imaginations, right? Mm. But all it did was make somebody billions of dollars, but that didn't go to the actor. Let's take Taraji and um, Benjamin Button. No word. She got 150000 That movie made millions. Mm. But with Taraji's situation, Taraji is one of them nice young girls, you could tell that her agency, whoever her agency is, I don't know who her agency is. I don't want nobody to sue me, but here's the <laughs> play on Taraji coming from a street hustler. Someone told her, do this movie because you're playing with Brad Pitt and mm. this movie is going to make your career. Because I believe that. I believe somebody told her that. You know, sometimes you got to take opportunities to get bigger, to get more exposure, more names in different markets, not just one market, but across the board. Uh, I, actually, I do like the point he made about uh, black economics could be way further if it was 20 black movies coming out every year. It would be so much money going to production uh, to the actors and actresses, you know, and just that that would be a lot that that would be a lot for the black community maybe one day it could happen man i i look forward to those types of days you know let's take this mighty listen someone came to you with a budget of 167 million <clears throat> they say mighty listen we get this budget of 167 million but we could only give your client $150,000 come on man <laughs> thank you that's crazy you're going to be like, what, 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 what did you say? Mighty, it's Brad Pitt. Do this. So here's my take on what I really, and I stand on this. They paid Taraji a few million to the agency. Mm. They paid her. The agency told Taraji that's all she can mm. get is 150000 do this movie. Hey, y'all let me know that. I mean, let me know what y'all think. This could be true. You know, them agents, sometimes they janky. Might have took, came, you know what I'm saying, took off with her bread. And it's going to blow up your career. So when The Color Purple came out, everybody's like, hey, go support The Color Purple and show Taraji and them that we support so she could get a check. Taraji's not the face <laughs> of Hollywood. Facts. You think somebody cared that was sitting up in executive office? All oh, the, the people came out to see Taraji. <laughs> they started giving her a bigger check. All it did was put money in the producer's pocket. And mm -hmm. what I saw yesterday is the color purple flopped. It did good on Christmas Day. Man, is I don't know. Is that true? Did the color purple flop? I ain't seen it yet. Is that true? Y'all let me know in them comments. Start up that dialogue. And after that, boom, it went down. The world is different now. What kind of movies you got to bring to the African-American man and woman? Mm. You got you to bring some real stuff for us to really um, get behind and feel. Like my prediction, me and my daughter predicted this together. We believe that the Bob Marley movie, February 14th, is going to be the movie that all um, African Americans are going to see. Mm. That movie looks really, really good. And I, 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 I back that movie. I could just, I feel the vibe on that movie is going to be amazing. But that's what we need out here. And I wish they could pass a law into Hollywood that is mandatory. You know how they had that, uh, what's that act they had to start hiring black people back in the day, affirmative action? Mm. They need something like, yeah, they need something like that in Hollywood to guarantee 20 movies a year for the black community. That would good be dope. Good budgets, good topics. But when African-Americans make it and they get to the top, they, they try to help other people, 
but they don't really take care of the people where they should. And, and I hate to throw Tyler Perry under the bus, but Tyler Perry is very <laughs> successful, but he does mm -hmm. the same thing to his, our, his, our people the same way Hollywood does. He don't give nobody no big check. I know mm. he gave the um, um, whatever her name was a million dollars at one time, but that's nothing. If you're gonna be a boss, be a boss. Like if you're gonna really be that dude, mm. be that dude, yo. Be that dude. But the world is. You, you understand? Like you, you, you know me for a while now. You, you've seen everything I do. I push honesty. I push leadership. I push. Yo, let's try to do right. Let's be humble. People take the celebrity thing so far. It's all in your head. Nobody cares. Mm. Hey, man, y'all let me know what y'all think of them comments, though. For real, for real. Uh, man, he was saying some, uh, he was saying some interesting stuff. No cap. Uh, you know. I don't necessarily agree with all these things. I chimed in here and there, but I want to know what y'all think of them comments. Did Cat really turn down them 50 M's? Is Taraji P not a household name? Is she not worth more than 150? You know what I'm saying? Did the color purple really flop? You know, and economics is important for our community. So we do need those budgets and we need those production teams and actors and actresses that are black to circulate those dollars. We got to keep circulating those dollars, man. Y'all let me know. Uh, it's Cartier, you in Cartier world.